Dang. Dang. What's going on guys, I'm Cosmo, welcome back to Automation, and today I'm gonna be building an engine that has the biggest bore and the smallest stroke possible in this game. I think I need to do a V10, I did a three cylinder in the last video, I did longest stroke, smallest bore, and I feel like I should maybe do a three cylinder, you know, for a comparison, but also I'm doing a really high revving engine here, I think. At least that is the expectation, so I think I'm gonna do a V10, you know, cause the sound of a high revving V10 is just unparalleled and this this will be fantastic. It's still going to be on like the worst materials possible, you know? I'm still learning about engines. You guys have been teaching me a lot in the comments. I certainly don't know everything, but I am excited to learn. So let's get right into this, enough blabber. I am going to do a 90 degree V10. Unfortunately, we can't do a 72 degree, which would be the optimal angle for a V10, but that's okay. I I guess we're gonna do a cast iron block, that's fine. And it's interesting because it's letting me do the maximum bore and the smallest stroke, which is kind of crazy actually. Oh man, 5.6 liter, eh? 5.6 liter is pretty big, but the fact that the game is actually letting me max out the bore and, you know, completely minimize the stroke is amazing. So I think I'm gonna go with dual overhead cam. Uh, gonna go with four valves per, uh, you know, per cylinder. Uh, head material, let's go with cast iron. I mean, this could be better, but we're gonna go jank material. Not jank materials, but you know what I mean. Basic materials, not up in the quality either. Oh baby, we can go even higher bore. 123, oh my goodness. What is that stroke to bore ratio? 0 0.4, 0 0.406, which is, <laughs> that's crazy low. Uh, we're gonna use cast for everything, uh, cast iron. Uh, for the harmonic damper, I have no clue what to select for the weight, guys. Maybe you can teach me in the comments down below how to even, you know, begin to estimate what weight to use, uh, but I'm just gonna go with, I don't know, 11.1 sounds like a good number. Sounds like a great number. Now. I don't know if I'm going to keep this engine an A or turbo it. I kind of want to keep it an A, you know, for that just like raw V10 sound. Uh, twin turbo V10 is cool. With that said, I think I'm going to do a high compression ratio just to sort of, uh, you know, push myself towards doing it an A. Maybe around 13, but you know, 12.9 because I'm superstitious about 13. Uh, for the cam profile, now I never actually saw this, but it shows me the estimated peak torque RPM. And I want this thing to rev high, so I'm going to go with a cam profile that tells me my estimated peak RPM is around 7200 RPM. Now I'm still learning about cam profiles and springs and lifters and all that stuff, so I have no clue what to set for this value, uh, but I'm just going to stiffen them up a little bit. Perfect. And for the variable valve timing, that's an interesting one because I feel like I could achieve everything that this achieves uh, with a turbo, but I don't want to go turbo. And I also don't know if, uh, you know, it makes sense to run a variable valve timing, but maybe we could, maybe we will. We'll run, uh, you know, variable valve lift as well. What does this do? Let's check out the VVL profile, because I honestly have no clue about that either. Listen guys, I built two strokes, okay? <laughs> I mainly build two strokes. I do work on my car, but I, uh, I've i only ever built two stroke engines. So with that said, variable valve timing and variable valve lift is something I definitely have to uh, learn and uh, you know figure out. But I'm just gonna wing these numbers for now and we're gonna see how it affects my my engine later. My RPM limit, man, I want this thing to rev as high as possible. You know, realistically, let's just go for like 11,000 RPM. Okay, please, that's all I want. Maybe not on an engine that's built out of the worst materials, but one can hope, <laughs> one can hope. Uh, naturally aspirated, I think, is what I'm going to stick to. On to the next step. We're definitely going injection. I don't think I'm gonna go direct injection simply because that might have a hard time keeping up with the high RPM. Uh, so I guess, I wonder what mechanical fuel injection is. Is that just like driven off the, the crank? Single point EFI, let's do that. Wait, no, multi point EFI. Cause I think single point is when you just have like one injector spraying into the intake manifold. And then multi point is when you actually have like an injector underneath well, at each intake port. Somebody in the comments said that I don't know anything about fueling systems and you weren't wrong, guy. Intake manifold, 
Uh, we're going standard, man. We're just chilling. <laughs> I like how the game is like, more mid to high RPM power. Potentially, <laughs> you know, like, depends if you messed anything else up. <laughs> uh, geez, well, this, in, in my case, yeah. Ignition, we're gonna keep as is. Uh, fuel map, I get, wait, can I look at a fuel map? No, I can't. We're gonna keep that as is for now, I guess. Let's check out the headers. Compact cast. Ooh, those are so bad, man. Okay, that's better. That's better. Let's just do that. What cast mid? What's what's the difference? Well, no, let's just do the the most basic ones that don't look awful. Cause compact cast, like bro, that looks like a garden rake. That looks like somebody took a garden rake and repurposed it for a header. We're not doing that. Okay, we're not doing that. <laughs> header size. Um, man, I I've had so much self doubt trying to make this video because i feel like i put a lot of pressure on myself to know things and i don't know everything i just like engines okay i just like things that go brrr, okay so for the header size we're just gonna go with 69 i definitely think i'm gonna go with the dual exhaust you know just to help this thing breathe a little bit more that's not really like a quality thing if anything that's easier than making a single exhaust or a v10 right let's just do one set of mufflers okay because we don't want this thing to sound too bad oh we got a lot of problems here stupid earbud keeps falling out of my ear as well i'm having my own problems <laughs> okay so the engine has failed due to valve float try to reduce the rpm limit can i just stiffen up the valve springs perfect that went away <laughs> <laughs> the crank has failed due to excessive RPM stress. So clearly some of this or most of it is RPM related. I'm not going below nine, bro. Really? Eight, seven? Mm, but I wanted to rev super high. I said I wasn't going to use good materials, okay? I could. I could use better materials. I could make this thing rev to the moon. Ah, uh, disappointed. This engine is retarding ignition timing at full throttle to avoid knock. Would you like more fuel, sure? How about a little more fuel? Perfect. How about a little less fuel? Okay, a little... 69? Is that, is that what you want? 71. Okay. Sure. I wonder how this thing is gonna run. I'm really curious. The whole point was to have, like, a crazy big bore and a short stroke and have this thing rev to the moon. Let's actually have a listen. What am I doing? Okay, that sounds interesting. What's it making? Like, like how are we doing here? So we're making 350 foot-pounds of torque and 360 horsepower around their maximum. One day I learned what all these other charts are and how to use them. I mean, I can understand what they are. You know, I'm, I'm over-exaggerating my level of incompetence here. But uh, one day I'll actually, you know, not feel overwhelmed by uh, by this game and look into other things but this is like my second time okay kind of my second serious time so the question is do i try and make this thing rev higher what will like more rpm that's not like that doesn't feel like cheating iron heavy is the only other one that i would consider and there's no way in heck it's gonna let me rev higher the material cost of the cast iron is actually more than that of the forged steel light which is like what the heck man and we can handle more more rpm Bruh, why are we not using forged steel light? Let's just send it. What are you telling me now? A Conrod has... Conrods are failing now? Bruh. Cast light? Well, cast light makes sense, right? You can just make a lighter cast. That's okay. Conrods are experiencing high levels of RPM stress. That's... That's fine. That's... That's normal. That's... That's like everyday procedure. Let's check it out. Can we go higher in the RPMs? A little bit higher. I mean, we're above 9,000 now. Pretty good. However, the Conrods are complaining. Wait, can I do cast light pistons? Would that help me? 10,100. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm so happy. <laughs> That's amazing, dude. Oh my goodness. This is cool. Okay, I can't wait to tune this more. So I guess now that I'm maxing out at over 10,000 RPM, I'm going to try and make my peak torque around, you know, somewhere around, uh, I guess, 7,000. Huh, this thing wants to get choked a little bit. Manifold size, smaller, okay. I knew it went a little bit too big. Now, would this be like the size of my throttle body? Is that what this is? Still going down in size, and the power and the torque is still going up. Oh man, tubular headers are just so much better for performance. Look at this. I was using cast low, and if I switch to like tubular race, even tubular mid, I 
it's so much better. Tubular mid definitely costs more. <laughs> oh no. Material costs for cast mid are actually not more. And that makes things better. Good to know. Drop the header size because clearly it's way too big. 420 horsepower. Yeah, baby. All right, let's check this out. Not as fast revving as I thought it would be. Maybe it will be different in uh, in BMG. Also, somebody told me I should use a different program to test the engine noises. I couldn't find the comment. I don't know what happened. Let's check out the engine numbers actually. Max horsepower, 430 horsepower at 6,300 RPM, 397 foot-pounds of torque at 5,000 RPM. I wonder if these are scores out of 100. Throttle response. I want really good throttle response. Can I do anything else? To this thing before I call it quits. <clears throat> Let me interrupt for a second. So what happened next is I actually decided to finalize the engine and go and pick out a car for it, but what I realized is that it's way too big to fit into basically anything that I wanted to fit it into in a rear engine configuration. So I decided to try and make the engine smaller by turning it into a pushrod engine until I realized this. Wait, we can go even lower on stroke. Oh my God, we can go crazy low stroke. What? I just realized I can even go low. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's insane, dude. That is actually insane. The stroke to bore ratio is now, let's see, 0 0.26, 0 0.26, almost a quarter. Oh my God. <laughs> That's crazy. Question is, what can we do with this? Am I gonna keep it push rod? If I go dual overhead cam again, quality up to five, is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing now? I don't want to. We're not doing that. Okay, no, this is good. I like how this looks. Can I go, oh my, I can go higher in the RP. I, I can go crazy RPM now. Oh my, God. I can go 11,000 RPM. This is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> okay, hopefully this fits though. I gotta make this fit. That's the only thing. Let's quickly test this thing. Oh. Huh, what's this hiccup here? It doesn't actually want to rev to 11. Redline 500 RPM? What? Throttle response 93. That's exactly what I've been looking for. Wow. I don't like this blip in the torque curve though. Let's see if I can fix that. Oh, why is VVL RPM set so low? What? Huh, 10.7 is where she maxes out. So what is it? Is it airflow? Is there just not enough airflow? Oh, okay. It is flow. It wasn't letting me rev because of the headers. Interesting. I mean, at this point, guys, like I just found some, you know, some some junk race headers in the dumpster and I threw them on the car. I threw them on the engine, you know? Makes total sense. Happens to everybody all the time. Just go to your local trash bin, you know? I'm sure there's a tubular race header kicking around there somewhere. I wonder if I can go faster. I wonder if I can ro- 11.4? I'll take 11.4. Heck yeah. <laughs> okay, this thing is uh, this thing is silly. Uh, this thing is officially silly, guys. And it, oh wait, what? It, it doesn't like that. Yeah, like, you know what? Let's just let's just leave it at eleven three. And it seems like we can rev to like eleven, eleven one at the very least. So that's great. I am very happy to hear that or to see that rather. That is a very interesting. Oh, is it just like it's because it's it falls off? Here, let's just see this pull quickly. I am all over the place, guys. I am, uh, I'm excited for this engine. Dang. Dang. Yes, yes. Oh, that's so good. Okay, what is it going to let me put this engine into? I really hope it lets me put this engine into something. All right, back to my original rear engine idea in some kind of truck. Is it actually going to fit? Current engine doesn't fit. Okay, not gonna panic. Not gonna freak out like everybody thinks I'm gonna do. Wow, it actually fits into this stupid thing. Fantastic. I am so thrilled. I'm making a race truck. It's happening. I guess more of a race SUV, but you guys get the point. And you know what? Let's make this thing out of aluminum. We're still gonna do a steel chassis rear longitudinal engine, which I better see in here at some point. Uh, front suspension, McPherson strut, rear suspension, uh, 
McPherson strut. Excessive amount of overdrive. Stop complaining. This is not a lot of torque for this truck. Let's just go with some next level steel, okay? We did like the worst materials for the engine, kind of. We did cast light, but whatever. Uh, but this thing needs to be lighter, okay? This truck needs to be light, guys. It's, it's gonna be crazy already, okay? It, it's a big vehicle. I want it to be able to move quick. Oh, there it is. There it is. Look at it. It's right there. I love it. <laughs> it's like hanging behind the rear axle, though. That is... I don't know, okay? I don't know. This could be bad. Uh, this doesn't seem like it's gonna be a good idea, but... Might have a slight problem with oversteering, but I guess time will tell. Oh, man, this thing is really starting to take shape. I'm trying to do, like, a lowered wide body meant for the track. This might be cool, or it might be a disaster. I'm not sure. I don't know if I want it to look bubbly or if I want it to look sharp. Sharp might be the way to go. I like this better. I like it better than the curvy, bubbly one. Stuff like paint I can do later. Let's work on uh, the drivetrain fixtures as well. I want to really get this fitment worked out. Yeah, pre-wheel drive. We're going to go with a manual. Or should we do sequential? That'd be really cool, actually. Let's do sequential. Seven speed. Ooh. Yeah, might need a seven speed. This thing doesn't have a lot of torque. Might have to play around with the gear ratios once I've actually felt how this thing drives. With time, I'll probably be able to guess, you know, kind of like what gear ratios work well. But man, that's a really low first ratio, which kind of makes sense actually, because this thing is heavy and I don't have a lot of torque. Definitely radial tires. I'm gonna go with some uh, sports compound. Works for me. Uh, what can we do for the front? 37. Oh my god, 375s. That is ridiculous. No, let's go like uh, let's go 275 in the front. Not like that. And then for the rear, we can go. Let's do 305s, 17s all around. Uh, let's do some offsetting. Oh man, that's looking good. Gonna optimize the weight of this thing a little bit, just to make it a little bit lighter. You know, nothing too crazy. Uh, weight distribution, I think I'm gonna do a little bit more to the front, possibly just because of the engine being all the way in the back there. Is that how this works? <laughs> As I predicted, this thing has a lot of oversteer. In fact, it terminally oversteers. I'm gonna have to learn how to read all these graphs as well for, uh, you know, for steering and stuff. What else do we have? Oh my goodness, so much stuff. I am scared now. These headlights would be kind of cool to put on this. These actually look really cool. I think I might keep this. Let's throw some round lights up in the front, or I guess in the bumper is what I'm trying to say. What can we do for taillights? We need something slick. Equally as slick. Maybe something like this? I do like this taillight, but it's also maybe a little bit too subtle. Not a bad thing necessarily, right? I really should get in the habit of making interiors as well. Okay, well, I managed to put a dash in. Kind of, sort of. So good enough for me for now, you know? That's... Let's progress. What do we got for grills? We need a front grill on this thing. Now it just looks like it's smiling at me. That's a very happy car. <laughs> the front reminds me of something. I can't quite put my finger on it. Almost like a Nissan Pulsar GTIR, but like it got bitten by a bee and it's all puffy now. But even then, that's not it. Maybe kind of like a Lancia almost, but once again, also bitten by a bee. And even then, it's got square headlights, so I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments down below what you think this thing looks like. <laughs> I love it though, I love it. It is so long. I made it low, I made it wide. I, uh, I did add some cooling for the rear here, you know, to kind of show there's something in the back there, which there is, there's an engine. Um, I've got, you know, my exhausts. I've got some vents up front here. I got the gas cap actually um, in the front quarter here because I'm assuming the gas tank will be uh, up under the hood. And I am itching to hear this thing, guys. I am itching to drive it, see how this thing does, just like under regular driving conditions, uh, on the track, on the drag strip. This is gonna be gnarly, so let's hop into BMG and check this out. Actually, Quick, uh, quick things that it's complaining about. Uh, the front dampers and the rear dampers being too hard. The clearance on the side of the engine is apparently very narrow, but who cares? Uh, engine suffers from valve float, we knew that. And uh, the clearance, once again, of the engine. Um, are there any other, like, statistics or anything that we can, you know, take a look at? Apparently top speed is only 269, which I find hard to believe, but... I guess we will find out. I don't believe any of these numbers right now. These make no sense to me. 0 to 100 in 37 seconds? 
maybe the gear ratios are all messed up, but the more I play the game, the better idea I'll have for a baseline for stuff like that. I think I just need to go test this thing, guys. Let's hop right into Beeman G and test this thing out. It's time. It's time. I'm not beating around the bush anymore. Let's do this. There's just so much stuff to look at. So many values and stuff, but you know what? We just gotta send it. Finally in Beam G, it's the next day. I stayed up so late building that engine and car. I actually wore the same shirt just for continuity purposes, you know, but uh, I had to get some sleep, guys. I'm so excited to check this thing out, though. Let's load it up. And I was actually uh, falling asleep and I was thinking, I built a 5 liter V10 that revs to like 11,000 RPM. Why does it only put out like 350 horsepower? You know, seems kind of low, but maybe you guys can tell me. Yo. Okay, first of all, <laughs> this thing looks sick. And actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it out, and I'm going to then invite some people to test it with me uh, just to get their reaction, because I think this thing is really cool. Let's see how it drives, though. Let's go. Wait, what? Oh, okay. This might be a governor issue. Yeah, one kilometer an hour speed limiter. Bruh. No, none of that, okay? What else can we change, actually? I got my 7 speed. Uh, that should be fine, I think. Uh, you know what? Everything seems okay. I think that that might have been the only issue. I hope so. Let's give this a go. Let's walk. I was gonna say, let's hear this thing rev, and it just shoots up. That is so fast revving, man. Oh my god. That is awesome. I love it. Wait, what? Why do I have brake lights in my headlights? <laughs> what is going on? How are those? Why is it headlights mixed with taillights? I must have done something in automation, but I guess I have brake lights up front as well. Um, anyway, let's drive this thing. Let's see if the gearing is okay. It moves. Oh my goodness. First gear is so high. It accelerates so slow for how fast it sounds. It reminds me of that one clip of the two-stroke rally car. Uh, I, I honestly forget what it was. Uh, maybe a sob? I don't know. But it's coming around the corner and you don't see it, but you hear it and it's really loud and you think it's really fast, but it just ends up being extremely slow. This thing though is just this thing is cool. It's kind of uh it's kind of rubbing on something actually. I don't know what it's rubbing on, because like I've got ground clearance, but I keep seeing sparks. Let's take this thing for a better rip. Let's wind it out. Let's see how it handles. It's kind of a drift car. Oh my goodness, it's kind of a drift monster. Jeez. I have to say though, it's it's not that it's underwhelming because the noise is just fantastic. Oh, jeez. I... This needs to be quieter. This is so loud. <laughs> um, it's just that you would expect it to accelerate faster, you know? With how, with how it sounds. Here, let's bang it through the gears and see how fast it can actually accelerate. Maybe I should take it to the drag strip? We're, we're just gonna do it here. This thing is so hard not to just floor. It's so slow. It's it's not fast at all. And it's got so much under... Man, it's got no front grip. I think I need to make this a square setup. Uh, front and rear. I think the rears are like 305s or 325s. I think I need to make the fronts the same and just, just send it. It does have decent torque. Like, uphill? This engine is in fourth gear? It's pulling, man. It's pulling. Wow. Oh, God. Oh god, oh god, oh no, my poor, my, my, my poor car. Man, this thing looks awesome. I really hope the guys like it. I think I'm gonna raise it up just a teeny bit. It feels like it has a lot of, like, rolling resistance. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, I blew something. Okay, I'm gonna make some changes, guys. I'm having way too much fun already. I love how this thing sounds, how it feels, how it revs out. It's not very powerful, at least for its size. But we'll talk about that later. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some changes, and then we're gonna hop in with the boys and see what they think 
We'll take it to the track, maybe do some racing. <laughs> nice. Good job, guys. <laughs> so I fixed the car. Uh, I had to make some changes. I played around with tire widths and tire, sorry, and uh, suspension height. And I actually got rid of a faulty governor issue that I was having. But as you can see, I'm here with Two-Face and Seabad. What's up, guys? Hey. Hey, yo. And uh, thank you, Seabad, for setting up the server. Uh, I'm doing well. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. Eventually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had some technical difficulties, you know? it's uh, It's been some time. We're all a little bit exhausted from, from troubleshooting, but that's okay. Uh, what do you guys think of my SCV? What are your first thoughts? Um, what? Rev what it up. Am I supposed to Rev say? it up. Rev it up. Where, where am I supposed to oh say? Oh my goodness. Oh jeez. <laughs> jeez. Okay. Uh, well. I wanted to build an engine with the biggest bore and the smallest stroke. So the bore of this V10 engine is actually 123 millimeters with a stroke of like 35. Jesus. Which is like Idiot. basically like a 0.25 stroke to bore ratio. It's insane. Yeah, so it, it revs pretty fast. It revs quick. <laughs> And it revs high. And also, we... yeah, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. No, 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 go ahead. Is this gonna pop a wheelie? Because that's a lot of weight on the <laughs> but back here's wheel. here's the thing. Here's the thing. Awful power and awful torque. It's like a five liter, okay? It's a <laughs> oh, five yeah, liter man. engine. And this is the smallest car that I could fit it in. The game was like, bruh, your thing's too big, you can't put it into anything. So I literally had to put it into a crazy big SUV. It's, okay, so it's putting out 340 horsepower and like 200 something foot pounds of torque, which is like nothing. But it's got a seven speed <laughs> transmission and it sounds cool. So we're just gonna do some stuff with it. Uh, maybe go race it at the track, do some drag races. What do you guys say? Right. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's go. do this. Have fun. <laughs> it's kind of a cool drift. It, kind of a cool drift car when it like starts drifting. Actually. Yeah, when you can actually get turn sideways. Everybody, oh my goodness! Three oh, of these man. things. <laughs> oh man. Guys, I have to lower my volume. This is insane. Yeah, I can't. What is going on? Like all I, I hear is just. I percent and I'm fine. <laughs> Oh, that's I crazy. can't use sound to shift. I just feel I can't like, use wee, sound to shift. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> I can't even hit a curve. <laughs> Jeez. All right, boys, follow me. Let's go to the track. Let's take the highway. This thing sounds so good. High oh, yeah. revving V10 in like a oh yeah SUV. It's, you know, it's the this is what I want my car to sound like. Dude, I know. Like, this is. Oh, man. Uh, so good. Like you're having going, a bad day. Don't fast. worry about it. Just you know, just hop into your oh, V10. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh, the back man. end is so loose. Yeah, it really is. It's so bad. It's oh. running like 365s in the rear. It's like just to put it into perspective, a Lamborghini runs like a 305 in the rear stock. Um, a Viper yeah, runs like a 350, a 355, I think. Oh. Oh geez, there goes a wheel. I don't need that, right? <laughs> Oh, thank I'm you. Here. Perfect. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> oh, jeez. I kind of want a drag race. Uh, we can't really do a three-person drag race, but we can. You guys ready? Uh, yeah. I don't know what the strategy for the for the launch oh. here is, but you know. I... All yeah. right. <laughs> three, two, one, go. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna win, Seabat or Two Face? No, no, no. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! No playing dirty. <laughs> this is a legit well, why was sanctioned, so slow? What sanctioned drag race. How am I catching you? Uh, probably the lower gear. These cars sound like a freaking swarm of bees. <laughs> But like, <laughs> really but like mega like bees, you, you know? Uh, or it's nest or something. <laughs> oh, I figured it out, Cosmo. What? It's not good to rev it like after like 9,000 RPM. The the torque really drops dude, off. So dude, you it drops off early. like crazy. It it actually drops off like crazy. But it just sounds so good that high <laughs> yeah. in the RPM range, right? So, all right, guys, we gotta line up. We gotta do an actual road race now. So everybody, uh, you know, come into their pits. Oh, oh, jeez. Uh, can somebody tow me into the pits? <laughs> <laughs> what I'll give you a push. Thanks, man. Where are you? Weird thing. I don't know if you guys noticed. I somehow have brake lights in my headlights. Don't know how. What? Don't know how. Yeah. What? Wait, when what? you press brake, when you press oh, brake, yeah. the, 
But here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. That's from the headlights category. So I have no clue, like, <laughs> how that even happened. But it, it happened. And, and, and here I'm we are. I'm trying to rationalize, like, a practical use case for that. And I it, can't think of really one. really isn't. Look at this right. sick lineup. Yeah. Let's go. RGB. All right. You guys ready for this race? <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, three, yeah. two, one, go. I started in oh. third gear. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. This thing has enough torque to start in third, apparently. But, like, it's crazy how fast it sounds and how, <laughs> like, slow how slow it goes, you know? It's just so silly. Let's see how it corners. I'm. That's what I'm really. Oh god. Oh, I'm oh god. super scared oh god. about its oh god. ability. I'm breaking hard. <laughs> it's like when somebody like when somebody steals the catalytic converter off of, like a Prius. It just sounds like <laughs> it's like straight pipes. Uh, that's my car every day, bro. I steal. I stole my own catalytic converter. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, dude. This Bro, braking, well. braking, and and like like flashing with my headlight feels so weird for some reason. I definitely think the gearing could be a little adjusted, <laughs> like a little more adjusted. Okay. Five second penalty. <laughs> How are you guys doing back there? I'm gonna wait for you. I'm really curious. Oh, oh, oh there you go. Wow. Okay. Back there? I guess I don't have I'm to wait. The whole time. Perfect. Oh. oh no. It's funny. Like imagine you're just like doing your own thing. And you hear like three F1 cars coming, you know, like yeah. like high revving V10s, and you're just like, oh yeah, like like this is gonna be sick. I uh, I overbrake that, yeah, I overdrove that rather. And then you look, and it's three freaking SUVs, like bro. <laughs> Osmo totally wiped me out. Dude. No, I didn't. Oh yeah, sure. Did you didn't contact me? No. No, I, I didn't see it. Oh, it flung me across the map. Wow, that's so weird. Maybe it's the ping? I don't know. <laughs> it could be the ping. I uh, I mean, I have the footage, bro, so like you can, you know, I, like I, I'm not lying. Dang. What's with your ping, see that, huh? You wanna I don't know. Bad? Oh god, oh god, oh god, I've oh god. I've got a ping of zero, zero milliseconds. I don't know what's Strange. happening with you guys. <laughs> this thing definitely needs... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I... It definitely is a better driver, but I think the gearing needs to be uh, worked out a little bit, and maybe just, you know, figure out the torque band a little bit better. I don't trust this car. It's like, there's been several times where I'm not even pressing the gas, and I steer, I somehow managed to uh, spin the back end out. Yeah. What do you guys think overall, though? It's fun to drive. It's fun, yeah. yeah. It's like, I don't know, I was going, like, once I knew what the engine was going to sound like and knew what I was limited uh, to putting it in, I was like, well, okay, this thing can't just be, like, a regular truck or SUV, you know? Like, I have to actually make this thing no. sound like an F1 Bloody car. Oh, I followed no. Two-Face and I goofed. <laughs> oh, no. <Probably. laughs> uh, I was confident in that turn. That turn is the hardest turn on this track for sure. I'm going to set it to auto. Can I do that? Uh, Q. Yeah, yeah, Q, 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 Q. It's automatic. Oh, okay, that's fine. Perfect. Yeah, let's see how it drives in auto. I'm curious. Like, what is it? Not bad, actually. Yeah, it's not terrible. It shifts It shifts early, though. Yeah, it shifts very early. Which is probably where you want to shift anyway. I'm, yeah. just, I'm just a sucker for high RPM sounding <laughs> engines. Okay, guys, what can I say? Oh, I tried to shift it on myself, and I totally messed up my corner. <laughs> I'm shocked how, like, understeery it is. It's or... understeery for you? Oh, sorry, over, over, over steer, steer. yeah. Yeah. And I tried, dude, it used to be way worse. Like, way worse. Really? I tuned that out a little bit with, uh, with a different uh, tire setup, and that's actually why I messed with the tire pressures, too, because yeah. I just had to try and tune it out somehow, but... Yeah, it is what it is. I'm catching up to you guys. Two Face, I'm catching up to you. Yeah, I just wiped out on that turn. Real oh, did bad. you? I didn't crash. Oh no, I Seabad, I'm catching up to Seabad. Overshot. I I slowed down. <laughs> you slowed down. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I gotta yeah. give you, gotta give you a chance. And like, yeah, okay. You were just scared, <laughs> man. You were just scared to drive this car all out. It's cool. It's very cool. It's okay. It you can awesome. rip into it, cause. 
Because the comments are no, sure said going to rip into it, and that's okay. Gas. I would never drive this car in real life. No? Um, this car is the epitome of terrible cars, and you should feel bad for making it. Uh, Thanks, Two Face. Thoroughly... Are you guys my commentary helping? Oh my goodness. <laughs> well. I hope you guys enjoyed um, my yeah. journey to build uh, the biggest bore, <laughs> shortest stroke engine. I uh, totally don't regret inviting my friends for their uh, oh. heartfelt reviews <laughs> of my hard work. I only oh, no. stayed up to like 7 a.m., you know, recording yeah. this early. No, it's terrible. That's fine, Two Face. Yeah. I'll remember yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> this <was my> <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining. I uh, hope you guys That's enjoyed the movie. video. Let me know what other silly ideas you want me to try in automation. Appreciate your support. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. I'm gonna go school these guys. See bad just wiped out. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Oh god. Dude, this thing is sick. Is this thing so not hard sick? To drive. I'm not gonna lie. It's not <laughs> yeah. sick. It's just sick in a. It's unique, very sick. difficult. No, like, it's uniquely sick. You like know I'm getting I mean? used like to driving it, and it's sick. Two faces. No, yeah, it's got. Two faces still crapping on it.